All right, now this is reference video number two. Gianna Customs on the restoration repair of the 3000 GT. So we took off the engine bottom shield cover and so that way we can get to the starter, which is just about, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right there. And we took it out for this wire right here, which is the signal wire. So after we create our own ignition, we can still turn the key to turn it off. I don't know that was started. All right. Now we're gonna go over here. Here real quick. So we took off the crank shield. Belt shield, in other words. Oh no. It works. I can understand it. There goes the crank right there. Guys, I'm actually closing it right now. There goes the crank right there. So, good news is, even though there's spider webs and shit all up in there because it's been sitting 20 over 20 years, um, a veteran of ours uh, for the United States military um, had a part for like 20 some years. He bought it in '95, and age got to him. and and uh, no, he bought it in 96 off the showroom floor. And uh, he told me that AIDS got to him. So he parked it in like 2000. And it's been there ever since. So uh, he wanted to gift it to me, but I told him, man, you gotta let me pay for it, man. So we ended up uh, selling it for 300, and even though he was gonna gift it from to me. So I bought it for 300, it really is a gift, but I can't let him, because I have to give him something. Um, so this is this is the truth man um he said it was having a belt issue with the timing um timing timing belt so we're gonna go ahead and uh, spin the crank to see if it even spins you know or is it seized up so good thing it's a japanese motor because all we need is a half inch drive with a half inch extension and the way they built their bolt is uh, you just put your uh, half inch extension right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and give it give it a spin, man. Hopefully no motherfucking spider comes down and tries to get me, but if that's the case, fuck it. I'm turning into fucking a uh, Hulk man. Slash spider man. All right, here we go. Only the truth. One, two, three, let's rock. I'm gonna go light first, just in case. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, this feels good. Okay. I'm liking that. Oh, that's loose. Oh yeah. Oh, we're good. Oh yeah. We're good, bro. Take that off. Oh, yeah. Man, God is good. Whew. All right, so we got to that part. Going to go ahead and um, take off the distributor caps and uh, give it a crank so that we will build oil pressure and then go ahead and plug them back in, you know, because it's been sent so long, what happens is there's no oil at the top. And also, the crank might be, because it wasn't lubricated, it might be to kind of rest or build up right there. So, when I lubricate it, this is with any car, lubricate it real quick, take out the steering caps, crank it like three, four times, since this one been sent so long, probably like six times, just to build good oil pressure. And then we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and um, try to start it plug back in the distribute caps right here. Go ahead and start it. So JNL Customs, this is part two of the restoration and repair of the 3000 GT. Let's go.